welcome to this special presentation by Medtronic Diabetes. I'm Rob Howe, and today I have the distinct pleasure of introducing you to Lauren Cox, the amazing Lauren Cox. Uh, Lauren, thanks so much for being here and welcome to the show. Yeah, thanks Rob. Well, we're super excited to have you. And if you're you know, pretty internet savvy and know how to use an internet search, you can find a spectacular resume. But one of my favorite things when looking up facts about you is that you're the first person with type one diabetes to step on the court at the highest level of professional basketball. Yeah, that's right. So I was drafted third overall in 2020. And when I took the court in the Wubble, I officially became the first WNBA player to play with type one diabetes. That must have been quite a moment, kind of stepping out on the court for the first time. Yeah, it was really exciting and something that I've always wanted to do is show people that you can achieve your goals and follow your dreams regardless of type one or not. So you were diagnosed with diabetes at the age of seven. What do you remember about your early life with diabetes or some of those first days? One of the biggest things I remember is being embarrassed by it. Uh, I didn't want people to look at me while I was testing my blood sugar, taking a shot. You know, we would be at restaurants and I would be trying to test and the waiter would come over and I would shove it under the table just because I didn't want them asking questions. I didn't want them looking at me. Um, so it was hard and I didn't really have anyone to look up to. And that's why I want to be that for younger kids living with diabetes because I didn't have that as a young kid. So I want to show them that anything is possible, they can do whatever, they don't have to be embarrassed by it, they need to embrace it. That must be a big change for you, going from feeling embarrassed and kind of feeling self-conscious about uh, your diabetes to now you know, being out there with it and, and leading by example and showing those young girls that even if you have diabetes, it you know, doesn't make you less than, right? You mm -hmm. can still accomplish your dreams. What's, what was that journey like for you? So Coach Mulkey at Baylor was kind of the one that really made me get out of my shell. Uh, my freshman year when I got there, she said, okay, you need to use this. You need to use your platform here at Baylor. You need to show these kids that doesn't matter if they have type one diabetes, they can do anything. And she was always the one to push me to just break through my shell a little bit more each year. So we had the type one awareness game. I would talk to kids after games all the time, take pictures. So that's kind of how that started. One of the things about your career, as I followed you over the years, you wear your pump and your CGM while you play. Uh, so I remember watching the footage of the national championship game and you're there holding up the trophy and your CGM's right there on your arm and like you could see your pump tubing. Uh, have you always done that? I think the last time I took my pump off for a game was probably in middle school. Um, and ever since then, I've just been wearing it and I kind of tuck it into the side of my sports bra, kind of under my arm. So it's out of the way, doesn't really get hit too much. And it's just something that I've always done. What was it like to hoist that national championship trophy over your head and like while you're wearing your pump and CGM? Was that just a surreal moment? That was incredible. It was a dream come true. Um, my teammates brought the trophy over to me and it was just an amazing feeling. Well, we're here today with Medtronic Diabetes to make a very special announcement. So I'd love to pass the mic over to you and make it official. Yeah, so I am here to formally announce that I am partnering with Medtronic Diabetes to share my experience playing at the highest level with type one diabetes. I believe that you can accomplish your wildest dreams even after you're diagnosed with the care and technology to help manage the disease. Medtronic was there with me when I held that national championship trophy, when I got drafted, when I stepped on the court for my first WNBA game, and they're even here with me today. Yeah, they're with me today too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so cool to have somebody like you be an example for young people and people everywhere with diabetes. Yeah, I just want to show them that they can follow their dreams, they can accomplish their goals, regardless of having type one, it can't stop you. Well, it certainly hasn't stopped you. And what's interesting to me, as I read more about you and gotten to know you, you are not the only person in your family who plays basketball at a high level and lives with diabetes. So I know you and your sister Whitney were recipients of the Pat Summit Most Courageous Award uh, last year. But what's it like to not only share basketball, but diabetes with, with a family member? It's definitely brought us a lot closer. Um, it was a Saturday night. Um, we There was a game down in Waco and my family came to the game. Whitney apparently got up to go to the bathroom probably five times during that game. She was really thirsty and 
as we both know, those are symptoms. So when they got home that night, they tested her blood sugar and it wasn't too high yet because they knew what to look for. So they went to the hospital, um, spent the night in the hospital. I think she was there less than 24 hours just because they didn't let her get too high. And I had practice the next day and then I actually went home. It wasn't too far of a drive. So I got to be with her the day that she came home from the hospital. And when she got there, we sat on the couch, cried for a little while. Um, Cause I mean, I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. It's not something fun to live with, but you know, you gotta, you gotta use it. You gotta embrace it. And it's nice to have somebody who's been through it to, to kind of help you get, get started quickly. Yeah, for sure. I think she was able to use me if she had any questions because it had been however many years and I, I knew what I was doing and she, always, she would always come to me with questions. That's a big thing is knowing what the symptoms are and that was big for her because she didn't get too high. She didn't go into DKA. So she wasn't in the hospital too long and she got in control of it really quick. That's super great and, uh, and amazing that you guys are using your platforms and using your voices to raise awareness for other people living with diabetes. Well, Lauren, I know I count myself fortunate uh, to be able to be here with you today and to get to stand next to you on Team Medtronic. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. Well, I'm so glad that you were able to make it and thanks to Medtronic Diabetes for making this happen and thank you for tuning in. All right, now, do you think uh, we, could, we should get a game of horse going? Do you think like, you got, I, I mean, it's been a little while, probably a little rusty. <laughs> Bring it on, let's go. All right, let's go. <laughs> thanks for tuning in, guys.